What are y'all doing today, man? Chilling? Uh, 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 so so what, what else do you do in town, man? So we're walking around, eh? Walking around? Yeah. All right, a little bit of walking around. Yeah. Sounds of the street, enjoy the sounds of the street. Seagulls, let's enjoy. Mystery people, welcome back. We are in Devonport, Tasmania. Look at a map, show where it is. Zoom in, Devonport, Tasmania, y'all. I'm gonna tell you a couple things about this place. First things first, third largest city in Tasmania, 25,000 people. We're sitting on the banks of the Mercy River and it actually flows into something called the Base Strait. So keep that in mind, y'all. Coming up later on in the video, mystery man. Cool and any of that kind of stuff. Hey, man. How you doing? All right. Right over here, this is the main drag of old Devonport. I'm going to try to make it across the street. Don't think I'm going to make it. I think I'll wait. All right. So we made it on the main drag. I'm just going to go through the middle part over here and see what the town's all about. So a few people out and about. It's the afternoon on a weekday, so it should be, should be all happening here. Now, I know y'all noticed from looking at this Devonport walk that we're doing, you can see that there's really not too much going on. So, there are some tourist attractions here, though. Check it out. We got something called the Bay Strait Maritime Center. We got an Aboriginal Cultural Center. We got a regional gallery. We got a lot of jazz festivals, agricultural shows, things like that. So, beautiful natural scenery everywhere. That's what we got here in Devonport. But we are actually going to find out why people just walk around there's a few people around well can't be that bad so if y'all can see the water down there that's the direction that we're headed but we're gonna look at some of these older buildings here let's talk a little more about devonport y'all this seems like a really interesting place so as you can see it's really nice outside so the climate is kind of mild with cool winter so the average temperature is 21 celsius put the fahrenheit on there and it drops down to 11 celsius Put the Fahrenheit on there as well. We got a lot of scenery. We got a famous mountain called Cradle Mountain. And believe me, when you climb up that mountain in the summer, you're gonna need a jacket. So just keep that in mind. As you get higher, it gets cooler. Shout out to Cradle Mountain, Mystery Man. All right, I'll come over and hang out for a little bit, man. What are y'all doing today, man? Chilling? All right, you guys from here in Devonport or what? Yes. Okay, cool, cool. Tell me, uh, what do you do in town, man? What's fun? Hanging out at the park, what else? That's it? That doesn't sound very fun. <laughs> all right, that's all right. What's your, what's your name, man? Uh, okay, what about you? Uh, Donald. Okay, and you? Leo. Okay, all right. Uh, Those are really easy to remember. Uh, uh, that's a good one. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. So what, what else do you do in town, man? So walking around. Eh? Walking around? Yeah. All right, a little bit of walking around. Yeah. And that's it? Yeah. All right, I'm trying to find all the young people this here. I don't see too many. Uh -huh. So it's only y'all, that's it? All right, y'all the only young people in the whole town. That's all good. All right. So just look out for me on YouTube. It's called Mystery Man. I put it together. I'll make y'all look good. All right. I'm going to turn you into a star. Watch out. Okay. Thank you. Have a good day, man. See you. All right. See you, man. All right. So let's just keep going down this way. Met some new friends. We're going to go down towards the water. All right, y'all. So we just talked to these guys over here. They look like they were perfectly fine just sitting around and relaxing. All right. So. Some people may call that boredom, but it is important to note that perceptions of boredom are subjective. They can vary from person to person. So some people may like Devonport and some people may find it less interesting, but let's talk about why some people may find it a little bit less interesting. Now there is a limited nightlife there. There's not that many bars, clubs, late night entertainment, anything like that too much in town, but don't even trip. It's a small town. But as I said before, it's the third biggest town in Tasmania, so it can't be that small. Also, there's seasonal tourism. In the summertime, that's when more people are out. So these guys should be having a time of their lives. It's nice outside, it's sunny. You can go see some Tasmanian devils. You can climb a cradle mountain. You can talk to people, mystery people. Y'all know how we do it. Mystery man. Town of Devonport. Seagulls. Did you see that? All right. I almost walked straight into a bee. I'm glad I'm not allergic, Channel. but it would have been uncomfortable. So let's come on around over here and look at this, man. You can't really get this other places. So everybody's pretty much just on the water. Little lighthouse down that way. I'm actually going to get a little bit closer if I can and see what I can find around. Man, I'm lawnmower passing by. 
while we are walking on this nice lovely day we just seen the lawnmower man shout out to the lawnmower man let's give you a few facts about the spirit of tasmania that's actually the ferry boat that y'all can see over there in the distance all right so basically it operates between the mainland Disney, melbourne and tasmania show that on the map y'all we got melbourne over here and then we got tasmania over here so it connects the mainland to the far land or whatever you want to call it all right now the service was launched in 1985 that's a long time ago for some people but i don't want to offend others shout out to 1985 all right so basically there's two ships the spirit of tasmania one the spirit of tasmania two and it can carry up to 1400 passengers and 1600 vehicles that's for all those people wanting to get out of tasmania in the winter time also it operates year round about two sailings a day in peak periods now peak periods would be summer y'all because not too many people are going to tasmania in the winter time it's cold it's miserable and it's snowing in some places so for those that don't know it does snow in australia shout out to snow put your jacket on frostbite tasmania so let's check that out let's get a little bit closer see what the spirit's doing and then we will work our way so we're gonna try our best here but yeah there it goes that's where it drops you off get on the bars get in the car there it's gonna get a tiny bit closer here I don't want to get too close because that water looks pretty deep. But as we get closer, we got the ferry boat. And I don't see any penguin feathers, but I'm sure they make it. Some of them might kind of get lost and come around here, but you can chill out over here, stick your feet in the water, and enjoy. Let's keep going. All right, so we're still enjoying our walk on the water path here, going up a little bit further. They got a movie theater over there. They can't be that bored. Those guys are talking about all we do is just walk around. What kind of fun is that? You know? That's not fun at all. All right, so we're just going to keep yeah. on walking around, just like what the guys say. We're going to walk around. A little playground over here. That's pretty cool. Keep everybody entertained. And yeah, it doesn't get much better than this, man. There's a little dock out there. Yeah. Okay, everybody, as we are walking around Devonport, because that's what we like to do, we walk around in this town. Let's talk about some of the demographics, y'all. So, again, the population is about 25,000. Median age is about 44 years old, so it's a bit of an older city. But there's a lot of children under the age of 15. They're about 17% of the population. 65 and older is 22% of the population. As far as gender is concerned, pretty even. But the females do slightly outnumber the males. So shout out to the guys. You want a good woman, go to Devonport, do what you need to do. Now, in regards to ethnicity, 86% were born in Australia. Same story pretty much for most places in Australia. Most of the imports come from the UK, New Zealand, Scotland, etc. But get this one. The indigenous population is about 3% in Devonport. So shout out to the guys that we talked to. They were indigenous and they were just walking around as people do over there but don't even trip because y'all walked around with me right that's what we this do on mystery man. man we walk around i hope everybody had a great time on this video we took our time we got to talk to people you looked at the map a little yeah. bit you learned and i hope this makes you want to go to tasmania shout to tasmania shout to devonport shout to the guys and shout to walking around tie your shoes up tight now mystery man Man, where are you taking me today, man?